everyone, I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So we're building or we're decorating one of the apartments in the Evergreen Apartments book complex maybe that I built last week. Uh, this came up a little bit or this went up a little bit later than I wanted it to, but um, there's just been like, again, a lot of noise in the apartment, to be honest. I genuinely think, or I genuinely thought at least for a couple of days that my upstairs neighbors were moving, but now I don't know anymore. It's very weird. I, there's been drilling every day. I don't get it. it. Sounded like someone was like sand, not sanding the floor, but like fixing the floors like around Monday or something. It was so noisy. I don't, I don't understand. So I just keep uh, not distracted by, but keep myself occupied with other things. And then it's when I, I get to like nine o'clock when everything's quiet, I'm so tired and I don't feel like I can do voiceovers. It's currently 11 p.m. So today we're making an, ex an exception, but like I am not risking them being super noisy when I have time tomorrow. <laughs> so anyway, we're building this apartment. So I explained in the last video in the Evergreen Apartments video that I kind of wanted these apartments to be sort of like students minded or at least they would be in real life because this is based off a building that is close. It's not based, it's inspired. It looks nothing like the building. <laughs> I just took some loose inspiration from it, if you will. And, um, but a lot of these apartments have like smaller apartment buildings have smaller apartments in them that are roughly this size. So they have room for a living room, dining table. So like one room that is a little bit bigger and then a bedroom that would be a little bit smaller. And it's just meant for like one or two people, like a single or a couple. And there's a lot of these around in the city, but I also explained that a lot of them, because they're newer in newer buildings, or in completely new buildings, they're actually way too pricey for students, which just, just makes them all pointless. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, it's a whole thing, it's fine. They do, they just, they, they'll figure it out, I suppose. But it's kind of like based off of that concept a little bit. So I wanted to decorate one that was meant for a student, even though an apartment like this would definitely be a little bit pricey unless you had a part-time job that paid really well and you're just willing to spend like half of your more than half maybe yeah post tax at least more than half of your money on on rent i actually think it would be more than half but i can't really rem remember how the numbers are i'm not gonna lie <laughs> so it's uh it would definitely be a pricier one in real life we're playing the sims though so we can do whatever we want right okay so i kind of wanted like, I know that the kitchen, for example, stands out a little bit. I can't remember if I go back and change it to the dark color. I re remember being very tempted by it at some point, though, because I felt like it just fit with the vibe of the apartment a little bit better, which I wanted to be very, very colorful. Um, but I also think, like, we got to think, like, a little bit realistically. And in Denmark, many apartments, most apartments, most common you get like a full built-in kitchen with everything's so appliances on top of that and these days a lot of them are white there's actually i've seen some is my stomach making noise let's ignore it if she's making noise it's annoying i'm probably hungry it's fine <laughs> but there's a lot of um or not a lot but i've seen this kind of a concept where you could i think one of my friends actually rented an apartment like this a while ago where you could rent apartments that had like some of the apartments had completely white kitchens and then some of the other ones had these like dark gray almost a little bit like blue tinted kitchens with uh dark countertops and it would cost a little bit extra just to get color in the kitchen which is kind of funny um but yeah most commonly a lot of the kitchens in apartments at least new apartments in denmark are white as you guys might know about Scandinavian apartments um, or just Scandinavian interior. It's very bright. It's very light. It's very white and like light beige. So it kind of shows as well in like built-in kitchens, I think. So I wanted the kitchen to just look like it had already been there when the student moved in. So it doesn't necessarily fit super well with the rest of the interior, but it does 
it does look like a basic kitchen. It's lovely though, like, I love the items, as you guys know, because I keep using that kitchen set. I think it's amazing. <laughs> so I just continue finding reasons to, to use it. But in reality, I would probably, like, if we wanted it to be extra realistic, because it's a, it's a fairly luxurious kitchen set, I would say. I just like how everything just fits together very snugly. I don't think I could ever go back to some of the other fridges, for example, because they have a gap between the countertop and the fridge and it annoys me so much. Um, so this kitchen is just like, everything's just like nice and snug and stylish and clean and like sleek. I don't know, I like it a lot. So unfortunately I've been overusing a little bit. You'll see that in the next couple of builds too. I apologize, but also I'm not really sorry. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing, but um, I was at some point tempted to go back and change it, but it's supposed to look like it fits or like it came with the apartment, so I decided against it, I think. Unless I caved in at the end, I can't fully rem remember, to be honest. Um, but anyway, as for the rest of the apartment, though, very colorful. Just wanted to have a little bit of fun with some teal and some yellow. And the student that lives here, I don't really know what they do. I think they may be like a literature student or maybe in some kind of creative, uh, they're doing like a creative degree of some kind. I could imagine them being a graphic designer as well maybe. So I wanted to just have fun with colors, not because of the degrees, but like I just wanted to have fun with the colors and with plants and make everything a little bit playful as well. And obviously, they might have been living here for a little while because they definitely have a lot of things, which I remember when I moved out the first time. Oh, see, I do I do go back and like consider it at least. I was so tempted. Did I end up doing it? I might have ended up doing it. I can't remember. But look, and then I added this corner over here and now it matches the kitchen. Finding excuses to, <laughs> to change up the kitchen a little bit or finding like reasons to make it okay. <laughs> so... It just, I wanted to add like a little bit, also because I didn't want more pictures over in the corner, so I added this whatever it is, and uh, now it goes with the kitchen. It's perfect, it's perfect. But that swatch for the kitchen is also so, so good. There's something a little bit retro about it, I don't know what it is. It might just be like the brown tones, which rem reminds me of the 70s. Or not the 70s, yeah, 50s or 70s, maybe a little bit of both, actually. Um, I don't know, maybe. And now, of course, the apartment has to be pricier because the kitchen has some color to it. It's actually ridiculous when you think about it, isn't it? Like, it's a little bit dumb. <laughs> it is. I don't know, because it's still the same material. Those kitchens that I talked about before, still the same materials. It's just that there's a little bit of color in the kitchen and suddenly the rent goes up. Like, what the heck? Anyway, it was weird. I still don't fully understand it to this day, but... Um, I'm sure it's not, like, I'm sure it's not exclusive to that building that she lived in. Um, so I just haven't come across it in any of the apartments that I've been looking at since I had to move in June. And right now I'm not looking at anything because I have too many books to move. <laughs> like, I, my sister keeps asking me if I'm not moving to Copenhagen and I'm like, listen sis, I have, I have so many books. I have a spinal injury, <laughs> like, I do not want to move. It would require me to, like, pack down my office again and carry all those boxes and then put the books back in their place. It's so, it's so many books. I'm not doing it. The bed has to be pulled apart, not pulled apart, but, like, very meticulously taken apart and then very meticulously, meticulously put back together and I'm just not, I'm just not there, so prefer not to. <laughs> At some point, maybe, but not right now. <laughs> Watch me tuning in in like four months being like, so guys, I'm moving. <laughs> I don't know, anything could happen. Like, you never know. You never know. Maybe it turns out that they're making way too much noise in my neighborhood and I get so tired of it that I'm just like, listen, I cannot deal with this anymore. I gotta go. <laughs> or some, probably not. Like, I'm, I would find a way to deal with it, put on headphones or something during the day. I'll figure it out. But, um... Yeah, it's a genuine fear of mine that I have to move soon because, or not soon, but at some point because <laughs> I have so many books behind me. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, just making it very colorful in here and plantsy, and I'm very happy that, um, did I choose that bed swatch and then kind of like decorate the apartment so it fit with the bed swatch? It wouldn't, 
It wouldn't really surprise me if I did that, to be honest, because I really like, I really like that swatch. It actually, actually, I think I might have done that, just been inspired by the bed swatch. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Also was so tired of that wall piece that I found there because it's technically brick, but couldn't figure out how to fix it with other items. So I kind of just let it be. But yes, it's, it annoys me. I didn't like the half wall though. I didn't like the look of it. So it is what it is. But we are getting to the end of this video. So I'm gonna wrap this up now. If you guys like this building, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, the trade files can be found over on my Patreon, which will be linked to in the description box down below, where you can also find a link to my booktube channel. So the building is uploaded in two different versions. There is one with this apartment in it and there's an empty one as well, just so that you guys know you're free to download whichever one you want just wanted to let you guys know just a little heads up but that is all i got for you guys today so i hope you all enjoyed it please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and i will see you all in the next one Bye bye